Welcome back to JSA TV, everyone. We are broadcasting live from the expo floor of Yada 2024, and we're talking with some of the leaders in the digital infrastructure landscape that are making things happen. And I've got one of those folks with me right now. We've got Ivo Ivanov with DKIX. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for having me here. Yeah, Great opportunity to we're talk. We're super excited to talk to you. So uh, just for those people who just might not be aware, just let us know what, what you do and how you help your customers. We run internet exchanges around the globe. Internet exchanges, they stay for interconnection. Interconnection uh, is known by peering, by some people, but also we offer cloud exchange. We do offer uh, different application internet exchange options. In, in a nutshell, Dekix runs platforms in a very data center, neutral way, very distributed. Mm -hmm. Just to give you an idea, in New York, we are present in 25 different data centers managed by different data center operators. Yeah. And we do this in 58 markets like New York, around the globe, on five continents. There are 3,700 plus networks connected to the platforms worldwide. And this stays for the largest data center neutral and carrier neutral interconnection ecosystem on the planet. Quite impressive. Thank Absolutely. you. We well, love the community. Yeah, we do too. So let's talk about the U.S. and your, your presence in the U.S. And just as we're starting to see, you know, your company expand across the U.S. and just Internet exchanges in general expand across the U.S. So how do you, how do you see just the current evolution of, of Internet exchanges in the U.S.? Oh, that's extremely important uh, um, to have this type of infrastructure expanding. And uh, this year we celebrated uh, the 10th anniversary of Dick's New York. That was the first... Uh, market we entered in uh, 10 years back in 2014. Today, Dix New York um, is the third largest uh, internet exchange in the entire country. Um, we are happy to announce uh, that we won around 300 uh, different networks to connect, but also that with this market entry, we introduced a new type of internet exchange model. This is the data center distributed and neutral one. That allows us to be in as many as possible data centers enabled. This offers uh, plenty of opportunities to different network service operators to select their data center of choice and connect to us just using a simple one cross connect, enjoying at the same time the whole ecosystem. Dallas came to the came 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 to our portfolio. Chicago, Phoenix, Richmond, exciting markets. I personally believe that um, the more internet exchanges we will see in the U.S. based on this neutral model, enabling more and more data centers, the better for the great infrastructure in this country. Because this is what uh, new type of applications, uh, the, a new type of uh, um, I would say. Um, infrastructure requirements for more distribution across the country uh, is uh, requested. Uh, we cannot get the country served out of the existing top hubs like New York, Miami, LA, the Bay Area. This is not possible. We need to enable different infrastructure to build different infrastructure everywhere. Yeah, it's got to be shared. You're right. It can't all be in just the same core markets. And, and you're looking at some of these trends and some of these um, patterns in a report that you're that you're working on. Absolutely. How, how do you see what were some of the key findings of that and how is DKIX being fit into this picture? DKIX, um, DKIX stays for two, two important elements on our strategy. The one is the service level. Uh, we want to uh, offer different type of services that are designed to meet the requirements of industry. Different type of interconnection services means designed to meet the requirements of um, different type of networks. There are networks they want to interconnect more openly. There are others they want to interconnect privately, meeting specific compliance and security requirements. We are ready to go for all this. All these services are available. The second element, and this is what we're talking about here, is the geography. Why is geography so important? Just simple answer, because it's about physics. Interconnection means speed of light. The best and the shortest path to meet their latency requirements. Latency is the new currency today. 
Every single millisecond counts. If we talk about the immersive internet, and the immersive internet is in everybody's mouth, but what does this mean? That the undreamed of list of applications we all will experience in the future, we want to experience, probably experience in the future, is so much latency sensitive because this is real-time interaction, a real-time um, applications that require the way we function as human beings in order to um, feel natural, to feel kind of a... Um, adapted to our life without we feel disrupted by outages and by audio or um, video um, um, errors. And to give you a perspective, a blink of an eye of our eyes on a good day with a good condition takes 100 milliseconds. The way wow. we as human beings um, work on the tactile information to feel cold or warm or soft or hard takes better than 20 milliseconds this is how our brain functions wow video is better than 13 milliseconds and audio is better than one so if an application combining all these three elements of the way we realize our world we react respond to the world around us is what the infrastructure needs to deliver one millisecond reports to 50 to uh, 50 or 70 miles distance so Impressive. infrastructure, yeah, 50 or 70 miles designed infrastructure between the application and the users. Therefore, we're talking about the deep edge, deep edge data centers, deep edge internet exchanges to serve the connected cars, to serve the autonomous driving, to serve the robots. They will not come to the data centers. The data centers, they must get as close as possible where the users are. Yeah. You're talking about that connected world that we live in. You know, you're talking about videos buffering and, you know, people logging onto their LinkedIn at the at the drop of a hat. And it, it in this connected world, it is sometimes surprising to remember and recognize that there are still people in parts of the world that and, and, and in the US for that matter, that just they're living in that digital divide. They just don't have that that access that some of us do. So what role do you see internet exchanges playing in closing that gap? Developing infrastructure everywhere. Yeah. That's the answer. And thanks for, thanks for mentioning this. I feel those people who are not enabled to use digital services in the best way possible, they are simply disadvantaged. They do not have proper access to applications that allow them to, to get them educated, to find jobs, and to perform better in their life. So simply said, through digital infrastructure, we will be able to create better life for people because digital is essential part of it. Creating better digital services, we create better life. Absolutely. One of the other things, of course, that we're talking about a lot here at, at Yada and just out there in the ether is artificial intelligence. It's here. It's not going anywhere. Lots of people are using it for, you know, enterprise strategies and data centers are using it. So how how is um, how is what you're working on going to help support all of these AI workloads? AI is not just, a, I would say, a trend. There have been people 10 years back talking about cloud they said, oh, yeah, it's nice. It will disappear, right? It's, it's now, now good to talk about. We all know the answer. Cloud is essential for businesses and even for private uh, um, digital, uh, use digital services as well. AI is the same. AI will massively, massively uh, change the way we function in our business and private lives. We are just at the beginning of a revolution. We're just at the beginning of the time of the robots, of the time of the automated IoT supporting better efficiency and more, uh, I would say, um, options for our business and private lives. Dickix introduced uh, the concept uh, a couple of months back uh, of the AI Internet Exchange designed, designed for AI as a service operators, helping them to reach to customers, to all the enterprises they want to use AI to optimize their processes, to uh, create better efficiency. It's about controlling the data journey with three elements. Simplicity, security, compliance, and last but not least, performance. 
talking about AI, we need to differentiate. There are two models. The one is building the models, the LLM side of it, the training to get the agents trained. But when the agents are ready to go, we are, and this is what I love, in the part of the AI inference. This is the AI in action, in real-time action, and this is where DigX will help a lot, creating the best performance possible. We talked about latency. Yeah. This is absolutely essential for the robots, the AI in real-time based applications to function perfect. And it's about the infrastructure delivering the lowest latency possible. That will require the infrastructure I spoke about earlier that is so close to the highway crossroads, to the cell phone towers, to the buildings. Uh, we will need um, probably a small data center on Times Square with a pizza box exchange inside. Yeah, it's all interconnected. It's all one big yes. ecosystem. Well, Ivo, I can tell you have a lot of passion for what you're working on and for what DKIX is working on. Where can folks go to keep up with what you guys have coming up? Uh, we love infrastructure. We love community. And uh, uh, our mandate is to support this at our best. And uh, the more partners around the globe, the more data centers, uh, uh, the more net transport uh, networks will uh, start believing in what we stay for. And this is the case. Uh, the better for the users at the end, because this is our mandate, right? Absolutely. We do this not to build infrastructure only for having it built. We do this to deliver digital services, best quality to the users, to all of us. Very good. Well, where can we learn more and where can we just keep up with what you guys have coming up? You just just uh, follow the news, uh, follow your news, follow our news on the okay. website, follow the social media. We are... Uh, very transparent and very active in sharing our belief in a digital future. All right. Well, Ivo, thank you so much for being here. Enjoyed talking with you. And thanks to our viewers for tuning in. Stick around. More to come live from the Expo Floor at Yada 2024. But in the meantime, stay curious and stay connected.